So we're doing some factorial and permutations revision here. You've done all this before, so this is going to be a fast video so you can just get a bit of a reminder. So first up, 3 factorial, that's the same as 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. Next up, this little trick question here, 50 factorial is the same as 50 times 49 times 48, etc, etc, etc. But a better way to write that would be, or a more useful way for me to write that in this particular case, is 50 times 49 factorial divided by factorial. So obviously those 49 factorials can cancel out and I'm left with the number 50 and a slightly different version of that question here. 10 factorial could be rewritten as 10 times 9 times 8 factorial, 2 factorial times 8 factorial. Uh, those 8 factorials can cancel out. I can write 10 times 9 over 2 times 1. That's 90 over 2, which is 45. So just a little bit of playing around with factorials there, nothing you haven't seen before. You might get something ugly like this. You've done this kind of thing before. So n plus 1 factorial is the same as um, n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 dot 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 times 3 times 2 times 1. And n minus 2 factorial is the same as n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 dot 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 times 3 times 1. Uh, now the uh, 1 and the 1 and the 2 and the 2 and the 3 and the 3 uh, down to the this one and the, this one and um, this one and this one all cancel out because there's an n minus 3 and an n minus 4 in the dot 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 there. And what we're left with is n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 on the top there. And you could probably expand that and make that, that uh, you could probably expand that out to be some sort of cubic function if you wanted to. Or we could just leave it as it is. Now we need to talk about permutations. A permutation is an ordered arrangement of a collection of objects. So uh, using a tree diagram, list all the permutations with the letters in the word C-A-T. There's six permutations there, C-A-T, C-T-A, A-C-T, A-C-C, T-C-A, and T-A-C. Uh, now obviously we've done this before, we have a way of uh, permuting objects. Now previously we've used the box method to explain this. So we've said, okay, there's three letters in the word C-A-T. Um, I can put C, A, or T in the first box, there's three options there. Once I've done that, there's two options in the next box. And once I've done that, there's one option in the next box. So we can sort of come up with a 3 times 2 times 1, which is 3. The number of permutations of n objects is n factorial. And that's if you've got 8 objects and you're going to use all of them in your uh, permutation. Or if you've got 3 objects and you're going to use all 3 of them in your permutation. Uh, so quick examples here. How many ways can 6 different books be arranged on a shelf? 6 factorial, 720. Uh, now these quest these two questions are slightly different to each other. How many four digit numbers can be formed using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 if they cannot be repeated? All right, so we could use the box method here, but try to shy away from that. That's going to be equal to 4 factorial. Now if they can be repeated, if you can have the number 1111 or 2222 or 1222, um, I'll just I'll use the box method, but then let's let's try to get rid of it. There's four different things that you can use, four options in each. So the answer is four to the power of four, which is 256, um, and four factorial is 24. All right, so depends on whether you can repeat things or not. If you can repeat things, you're gonna get a much larger answer. And you're not using factorials anymore, you're using powers. And what we've talked about is permutations where you've got five objects and you're going to use all five of them, or ten objects and you're going to use all ten of them, or whatever it might be. Uh, but sometimes you've got ten objects and you only want to use four of them. Uh, so, for instance, the question here, imagine a very small country town with very few cars. License plates consist of a sequence of four digits and repetitions of the digits are not allowed. 
how many such license plates are there? So they've got digits, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, sorry, 9. So there's 10 different digits that you can put in each of the four spots. So 10 digits are allowed in the first spot, 10 different digits are allowed there. Nine digits in the second, because you can't repeat. Eight digits in the third, because you can't repeat either of those two. Seven digits in the next one. Uh, so what you end up with is uh, 10 times nine times eight times seven. But we can write that using factorials and this here. Uh, now, a couple of different ways to say this. You can say either 10 permute four, or you can be a bit more colloquial with it and you can say 10 pick four. Um, either, either phrase is fine. I'd prefer you use 10 permute four because I feel like 10 pick four sounds a little more like combinations, which we'll learn about a little later on. Of course, this can be generalized using this little formula here which says the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time. Uh, so in, our, in the case where we just talked about the license plates, 10 objects taken four at a time, four digits in each license plate, is written as n permute four, uh, n permute r, sorry, and is given by the formula n permute r equals n factorial over n minus r factorial. So in the case of my license plates, 10 pick 4 is 10 factorial over 10 minus 4 factorial, which is, of course, uh, 10 factorial over 6 factorial, which is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, 7. Okay, again, this is things we've done before, but I'm trying to Trying to whiz through it and maybe you just pick up one extra thing that you haven't picked up in the past. Answering a couple of quick questions. Using the letters A, B, C, D and E without repetition, how many different two-letter arrangements are there? So we're doing, for this answer, we're going to have five pick two or five permute two. And that's going to be equal to five factorial over five minus two factorial which is 5 factorial over 3 factorial. Um, now, you can type that into your calculator, or you can understand that that's simply going to be 5 times 4, which is 20. And um, the next one, six runners compete in a race. In how many ways can the gold, silver, and bronze medals be awarded? So, um, 6 permute 3, that's going to be equal to 6 factorial over 6 minus 3 factorial, which is simply 3 factorial. Uh, and then that's going to be 6 times 5 times 4, um, which is 30 times 4, 120. And finally, how many ways can seven friends sit along a park bench with space for only four people? Seven people, pick four, four seven factorial over seven minus four factorial is three factorial, seven times six times five times four. 840. That's factorials and permutations all in one quick video. Those are some fairly straightforward permutations. In another video, I'll do some revision of some permutations in restrictions or grouped items or repeated items.